prettiest landing I've ever done, but 12 knot crosswind. Acceptable, I reckon. That's 220 litres. At 40p less, that's 88 quid. I've saved. That's a really worthwhile saving. I've planned for my next leg of my journey today, which is hopefully getting up to Beckles, which I've been dying to visit. So I just called Beckles Aerodrome, but my PPR. And um, I'm now just looking at my flight plan. I could go direct, but it just doesn't look that much fun to go direct. Uh, and seeing as it's a lovely coastal flight I've ever done, um, I'm going to fly up the coast. So take off from Oscon, uh depart downwind, and uh, fly over Colchester, because that's where Anne Marie's family live. Get a good look at Colchester from the sky. Um, and then. I don't know this area at all, so just be passing it, switch down by the coast of Felixstowe. I've had Felixstowe, um, and then up the coast to Southwold, and then into Beckles for my first time. Um, looking forward to it, it's going to be fun. Look, Archie, fire truck, another one. And everyone else, look at this tail dragger 152 Aerobat. How cool is that? Tail dragger. So cool. I wonder if they do lessons in that. I bet they do. Right, Dusty. Always love to go to a new airfield. So I'm going to get the cameras up. So I just get distracted by a, a plane that's landing, trying to land. That looked quite, quite fun. Um, welcome on board for another flight vlog. Hope you enjoy it. Always do a quick fuel sump drain when I've just filled up the fuel. Just to double check as now that the fuel itself isn't contaminated. Right, all nice and clean. Just recently started using this 360 camera on the wing and I've realized that you can actually upload the full 360 video to YouTube. I did one as an experiment short one of a seaplane flight but if you like them, let me know if you want me to do more just put the whole 360 thing so you can scroll around the video while you're watching it that's it chocks locks tie downs covers caps flaps prop that's my climbing on board checklist So this flight is the beginning of my best agent fact-finding tour where I've got work to do on best agents, so I'm wearing the best agent hat, um, and I'm hoping to meet up with some agents around the country depending on whereabouts and how many want to meet up. It's my old GoPro 8 battery pack. Oh dear. That hasn't gone well, has it? I think I need to give that a bit more. Sometimes you've got to just do the best you can with the stuff that you've got. And all I've got is duct tape. I'm so bad at this sort of thing. Normally anything I try to fix, I just make worse. Well, you know what they say? If it doesn't move and it should, WD-40. And if it's moving and it's not supposed to, duct tape. I reckon that should hold for the flight. Doesn't look pretty. I'll try again with this Sky Echo, see if we can just do a half an hour flight without crapping out on me. Got the 360 thing on the wing ready to start. Let's get started up, shall we? Start everything. I'm going to start the cameras up. So, this is how I get started so I don't get distracted by filming. So, that started the 360. That's that GoPro. That's that GoPro. And I will add the other GoPro in. And finally, I start the audio. Do 
what you guys never see in these videos is the long periods of time where there's just silence where I'm not thinking about cameras at all and I'm just concentrating. Um, the way the videos are edited sometimes look like... <laughs> Did he do the checks? Ah. You know, when you're too busy, you just can't do your checks, you just go. That's a joke, obviously. So I'm just taxiing while the engine's warming up. We have full fuel brimmed to the top. You always want to do that when you find an airfield that's got cheap fuel. Oh, that duct tape's not doing brilliantly. Ah, keep an eye on that. Maybe I have to double it up when I get that. I realise that my vlogs and my flying and must seem sometimes chaotic. Well, it's just like the rest of my life. November 2 0 Sierra, um, lining up runway 24 uh, for departure on a flight to Beckles. November 2 0 Sierra, roger, service wind 300 degrees, 10 knots. Uh, Offscan radio, Staple 50. Staple 50, Offscan radio, flight message. Staple 50, the PA 28 arrow, we're routing uh, sub 3 to uh, Southwood and Ferris VRP, currently altitude 2200 feet on the QNH 1013. Uh, we're just going to be passing overhead, wondering if there's any traffic to effect and any information. Tip for zero two, got one aircraft just taking off towards Beckles. Runway is 24, left hand circuit in our QNH 1014. The traffic's copied and uh, the QNH is 1014, stay for zero two. November 2 0 Sierra, departing from the downwind leg towards Colchester and uh, changing to route frequency. November 2 0 Sierra, Roger, see you again soon. Thanks very much, see you soon, bye bye. Alright, no height restrictions. Climbing to 3,000 feet for this flight there. Foxtrot on that heading, you're closing the localizer from the right. Clear Dallas approach, runway 23, now 1 1 track miles from touchdown. South End Radar, November 1320 Sierra for basic service. Station calling uh, South End Radar, so any call signs? November 1320 Sierra. November 1320 Sierra, South End Radar, pass your message. November 1320 Sierra is a Cessna 182 on a VFR flight from Earls Colne to Beckles. Just departed Earls Colne. Four miles southeast of the airfield, uh, routing via Colchester and Felixstowe up the coast to Beckles, requesting basic service. November 20 Sierra, Squawk 5053. Say again, your uh, altitude, QNH 1014. Squawking 5053, altitude 3000 feet, QNH 1014. November 20 Sierra. November 20 Sierra, Roger, and what service did you require outside control airspace? Basic service, 20 Sierra. November 20 Sierra, basic service. Roger, basic service, November 20 Sierra. No, I'm overhead, Colchester. Local for 02 South and Radar, remain outside or clear back. That's Colchester, Amory, and Archie, and Clara. That's the view to Felix too. And that's the other part of Colchester. Freedom checks fuel on both and full. Radio. South end radar. South end radar, Vector Zylus approach from May 23, Atis Victor. I'll change to Norwich next. South end descend now, altitude 4,000 feet, and uh, runway surface 666, dry, dry, dry. 
Houston, 4,000 feet, and copy now by 760. Is it just me? Have I missed it? 760, uh, leave Gagmill. There are these new runway description numbers, new. I've never heard of them. So my last vlog from Blackbush to Earl's Cole, they did it at Blackbush Airport, they said 255. I didn't know what it meant, I had to ask, they said I was wet. And they've just done dry, 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 666. 660 on that heading, uh, you're closing the localizer from the left. Want to stop I feel like I didn't get that memo. The glide path. One eight miles from touchdown. Off my so this is Jodel Flyer country, Tim Palmer. I actually hoped, I wondered if I could go and see him today, but he wasn't at Nayland today. So Tim, uh, Tim Palmer is the YouTuber of the Jodel Flyer channel. He's been very kind and supportive of my channel when I got it started. Um, and he won that book off me two Christmases ago, and I still haven't had a chance to give it to him yet. An amazing book about the seaplane guy working around the world. Um, I'm just conscious that I've seen lots of other British YouTubers doing flying vlogs in this part of the country. John Hunt, flying reporter, and Tim. So that, we're just coming over Felixstowe. And the grass is in, the grass part of the runway is in use if need be. Okay, thank you. And uh, is the join from the grass to the tarmac fairly smooth or is it a bit of a bump? Not much of a bump, no, it's, it's, it's fine actually. Excellent, okay, thank you much. I'll, I'll use all the runway then.